Hi, this is Astrid from James Rolfe with a quick how-to on finding the points of intersection of a straight line and a parabola on the Casio FX82ZA+. First thing you need to do is change your calculator into table mode. Push your mode button, select 3 for table. F of X is asking you for your first function, which is your straight line. If you look on the worksheets, the straight line is Y is equal to X minus 3. Your X is in red above your closed brackets, so if you push alpha X minus 3, you enter the function of your straight line. To move on to your next function, you push equals, and you then enter your parabola which, if you look on the worksheet, is y is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. Using the same x, alpha x squared minus alpha x minus 6. To enter that function, push equals. The calculator now asks you where you would like to start on your x-axis. You will see on the worksheets, x is an element of negative 3 to 4. You start at the smallest x value, which is negative 3. Push equals. And you end at the largest x value, which is 4. Push equals. The calculator now asks you what steps you want to work in. Steps is another word for intervals. The intervals on a straight line and a parabola, you should stay with intervals of 1 and you push equals. The calculator now gives you a table. The first column is your x values that you've selected, which start at negative 3 and go up in steps of 1. If you use your down arrow, you will see the remainder of the x values. And what the calculator has done is taken each x value and substituted it into the different uh, functions and given you the corresponding y values. The middle column is your y values for your straight line, and your last column is the y values for your parabola. If you have a look at your third point, when x is equal to negative 1, both of your y values for f of x and for g of x are equal to negative 4. That is your first point of intersection when x is equal to negative 1. If you use your down arrow, and you scroll down, you will see at 3, x is equal to 3, y f of x is equal to 0, and g of x is equal to 0. There is your second point of intersection of your straight line and your parabola. Thank you.